Yeah, I like to have fun with Twitter. And a lot of people ask me, how do you come up with those humorous tweets? Guys, you're better than this. Let's go. I need some tonight. Bean burrito? Bean burrito does not get it done. Jesse, 140 characters. 140. <sighs> Only a Wyoming fan would like that. That's right, Dorian, you're starting tonight, baby. Yeah, it's nothing. It just comes to me. Well, we continue to talk some Colorado State Ram basketball, as we always do right here on the Ram Report. And we now focus on the Colorado State women. And head coach Kristen Holt joins us here on set at Moby Arena. 2-0 here this past week. And now 3-1 and in conference play. And, and a big road win at Boise State. I know it's, it's always big to, to get any conference win, but to get road conference wins, it's huge. Yeah, it was a great, great week for us, uh, especially with us getting the road win. And we played really well. Um, one of my favorite games of the year for us. Just like the way our kids approached it, we got off to a great start in that game. Um, they did come back in the second half and went up uh, by one at one point. But again, faced that adversity, dealt with it, finished out the game, um, had just really big performances from a lot of different people, and it was it was a neat game. Yeah, you, you played TCU just three days prior on the road. You got off to a, to a tough start. They were up 15-0, then mm -hmm. three nights later, you're up <laughs> on somebody 17 to 2 you I must know. have been thinking to yourself what who are we what yeah. are we doing yeah well i know it was um and i I'm, I'm hoping that we can get those starts as we continue through the conference um where we're struggling right now i think is we we get a lead and of whether it's five seven eight points and then we have a hard time of um putting teams away and we've just got to <laughs> figure out a way to do that yeah, you guys did relinquish the lead at one point there in that second half, but that, for, for your team to, to, to have an answer, it must have made you proud. Oh, I, I, yeah, I loved our grit, our determination, and just execution was really good. And our defense, our blocking out, we contested shots there. Boise was a very good, um, is a very good shooting team, and they were leading the conference in points per game at 72, and we held them to 52 in that game. Yep, and again, Boise had a 2-0 mark in conference play going into that contest. Well, you get the big road win, and then you, you have Wyoming. Border war here at Moby Arena this past Saturday. I, I know it's a, it's a Wyoming team that's kind of had your number in recent years, so yeah. any win over the, the Cowgirls is sweet, but maybe a little extra sweet for your girls. Yeah, we hadn't beaten them since... Uh, my first year here in the tournament and so it was awesome for us to get the win at home we had a great crowd i i didn't know what our crowd would be like with the men's game being later that day but uh great support here and um wasn't one of our better games but it was a game where we just we found a way to get it done yeah and you did it uh, with sam martin and a bit of foul trouble especially in the first half i think sam only played uh, what five minutes in the first half yeah, yeah five minutes and then we didn't have her the rest of the time at, and um, it makes it hard because she's a kid that needs to be in the game just to keep her knees loose. And, and uh, of course, she wasn't in there. So, uh, but had a really good second half for us. Yeah. And uh, of course, Kim Mestog had 21. And, and what a great week for Kim. 21 in the Boise State game and then has, has 21 here against Wyoming. Are we starting to see Kim kind of reemerge here? Yeah, I think she's back to her normal self and she's playing just more calm and and, um, and and that helps because we need Kim obviously if we're going to do anything. Yeah, no question about that. Well, you, you get the win against Wyoming. Where, where do you look at your team now as you, as you get further into conference play? You're tied with, with UNLV at 3-1 and one in second place. San Diego State's in there at 4-0. We talked before, this is a wide open conference. It is. Um, you know, I think we have just as good a chance as anyone of winning this thing, and uh, we've got to take care of home court, and we've got to find a way to, to get some road wins. And uh, to think that we only have 10 more games left the rest of the year, I mean, it's just amazing that the season's winding down so quick. Yeah, again, Colorado State is going to get New Mexico coming up on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock right here at Moby Arena. Well, speaking of Sam Martin, she's been one of the stalwarts all season long for the Rams. She'll join us here on set coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us here in the Ram Report. You can be a part of Moby Madness. Buy season tickets, mini plans, and more at CSURams.com. Giving you more ways to cheer on the Rams. CSURams.com. Twitter is great. Here's one. That darn cat is in the tree again. Where's a seven footer when I need one? Here, kitty kitty, come on. 
Heard you're looking for a seven footer. Wow, Coach Miles, this is crazy. I just tweeted that. Trevor, you got this? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, he's more of a dog guy. This ought to do the trick. Okay, thanks. That's what we're here for. Go Rams! Solving real world problems is a hallmark of research at Colorado State University. CSU's Animal Cancer Center customizes university research to fit the real world, translating groundbreaking animal cancer treatments into new therapies for human cancers. From animals to humans, the Cancer Center brings innovation and hope to cancer patients. Colorado State University Research. Local discovery, global impact. All right, one final time here on the Ram Report as we continue to talk some Colorado State women's basketball. I'm your host, Brian Roth. Happy to be joined on set by Sam Martin. Sam, thank you for joining us. Hey, congratulations on the start in Mountain West Conference. Played 2-0 and here this past week. Uh, your thoughts on two big wins, not only a road win at Boise, but the always tough home win here against Wyoming. You know, I think it's really good. I think it leaves our team with a really good atmosphere. Um, we had a pretty tough preseason, as you know, and I think these wins are huge and it's just kind of like, hey, we can do this. We've got this. We can, we can win a Mountain West Championship. We're playing with all these teams and, you know, I just think it really helps our team and our just how we are in the locker room and everything and on the court. Did you guys ever lose a little bit of confidence in the non-conference or did you understand, listen, this is going to be a process and we're building up towards conference play? We never lost confidence, um, which is kind of surprising just because we did have like a little rough patch there. But we believed in each other and in Coach Holt and in our program so much that like we knew that this would come and that we were going to start winning and that, you know, and so that's why this is so big is because it's like it's all coming true and it's happening and we worked for it. Kristen, talk a little bit about Sam, and I, I know we had her on the program last year, had a great freshman year, but it, she looks to have made a major jump here in her sophomore season. Well, you always worry about that sophomore year that uh, a lot of times players don't make the improvement that you see, especially if they had a really good freshman year like she did. But she's really improved, and I know she put a lot of work in this summer, and um, she's just developed not only as a basketball player but as a leader. And I just absolutely love ha having her on the floor, not because of the points she puts up and um, all the things that she does skill-wise, but she just brings a presence to our team, a calmness, a confidence that sometimes we lack, and she just competes, and I love having her out there. And what, what has been, or what have been, maybe a couple of the parts of your game that, that you worked on from, from last year to allow you to make that jump? Um, you know, I did a lot of work, like just on my outside shot, just got a bunch of reps up. And then I also um, worked a lot with my back to the basket and like trying to face up more or work around double teams and things like that that had happened to me last year that I didn't handle very well. And Coach Holt kind of like helped me get there and has put me through a lot of those situations in practice. Yeah, too. the shooting percentage is uh, as good as you can ask for, isn't it? Oh gosh, yeah, you know, prior to the Wyoming game, she was leading the conference at 72%, and she shot a very low 50% against <laughs> Wyoming. So, Darn it. Uh, yeah, I mean, geez, wow. Um, but, you know, just, it's phenomenal. And I think she's in the top two in free throw percentage, um, and which has allowed our team our team is leading the conference in field goal percentage. We're close to 50% as a team, which is, is good. We're taking good shots. Yeah. How about the knees? I know everyone mm -hmm. wants to talk about, uh, is she healthy? And I know it's uh, it's been a tough process trying to, uh, you, you don't feel 100% most times out there, do you? No, I don't, but it's been something I've had to push through mentally because I'm not, the doctor told me I wasn't injuring them more as I was playing or like playing on them. So it's just kind of like pushing through the pain out there. And I actually did get injections today, so hopefully that would help, will help them like in the further games and stuff like that. But Coach Holt and our trainer Annie and I just have been working and, you know, they have gotten better, so. Yeah, is this just something you're gonna have to fight through the rest of the year? And, and if so, what do you do in the off season then? Um, I mean, it could be something we're gonna have to fight for the rest of the year, we're not positive. And just for the off season, I think, you know, I'll have to take off some time and make sure that they get fully back, like 200%. And then once they're back, then I'll just like kind of work back into it. Yeah, Kristen, as a coach, and obviously you have your star player here, do you keep a close eye on, on, on how Sam looks and, and how she's feeling? I mean, it's a minute by minute thing, whether it's in practice or games, but 
that's what makes what she's done phenomenal because she doesn't practice. I mean, she's over on the side doing some shooting, but it's very different to when you don't get those reps and practice and all of a sudden you go and play a game and it's game speed and it's, it's tough and she's handled it really well. Yeah. Your basketball team does very well in the classroom, a cumulative GPA of over 3.0. And as Sam, I know you're right at the top. Talk a little bit about your classwork, what your major is and what you plan on doing. Well, I'm actually a history major with a teaching concentration. So I do want to be a history teacher and then hopefully coach and kind of get into that realm. Um, you know, I think the traveling and everything makes our, like being students hard, but we have a lot of help here, a lot of support. Like the coaching staff makes sure like they make school an importance and we have help in the academic center and everything like that. So it doesn't make it as hard as it really could be with all of our traveling. And, you know, they try to, I mean, we had a flight last week that landed at nine so we could make it to our class, you know, so <laughs> we're all really, we were happy about that. Yeah, those, those 430 <laughs> wake up calls are, yeah. are never a thing of joy. Right. Sam, Kristen, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck coming up on Wednesday. Again, the Rams at New Mexico right here at Moby Arena Wednesday night at 7 p.m. All right, that's going to do it here on the Ram Report. Thank you to Kristen Holt and Sam Martin and, of course, Tim Miles of the men's basketball team. For everyone, I'm Brian Robb. Join us next time here on the Ram Report. Point lead, four court Dorian Green drive down the lane and Tava hucks it home with one hand. Rebound to four, came to Horna. Here's a dribble out of the traffic, four court. Here's Dorian Green down the lane, hits the foul. Boom! Well, that was a good dunk. I've never seen you jump higher. I got one of the last bounce for days, dog. Yeah, we see it now. Oh, there's no more. Yeah, right. That was the one that was there for days. Y'all don't look out now. That was last year. It's a top 10 play. Yeah, that was definitely. ESPN ever. Yeah. You seen him in the last year. We were ever around. Huh? Ends up to Forte. Filling the lane left side. Now they go into Martin. Double teamed underneath. Right-handed hook in the lane. Go. Open three, you'll fire, yes! Kaipo Sabas has knocked down three threes here tonight. Bass on him. Washington, low block, spins to his right. Ball blocked out of there by Horna. Thanks for joining us on the Ram Report with Tim Miles. Join us again next time.